No, no. What's he like as a man? As a father? He... Uh, he used to be admired. Strong. Cared in his way, but sometimes I... Yes? Nothing. Just... He gets this faraway look in his eyes. And I sense the sadness there. He is Sparta's general. But he is also made of flesh and blood. Life cannot be lived without some regrets. This won't be like any other battle I've been a part of. Are you ready to crush the Athenians? I'm ready for war. Send these Athenians to Hades! We can't lose! 
The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. We shall be up to him in a moment. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes... I heard what you said. I just don't understand why. Those were his orders, sir. Very well. It appears I have other matters to attend to. The wolf awaits you. You fought well today for a mercenary. Don't... This is it. What do I even say? So you are the champion who won us today. Tell me your name, hero, so that I may greet you as a true warrior. Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. I saw you fall. I didn't fall. You fucking threw me to my death! I did what was required of me as a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You are my father. You are supposed to protect me. You were reckless. You forced my hand. I was protecting my sister because you wouldn't! The Oracle decreed that Cassandra had to die. Her word is absolute. 
You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty anymore. Enough! I can't change the past, Alexios. I will live and die a Spartan. There's a large reward for the mercenary who can collect the wolf's head. Is that why you're here? You've avoided the past long enough! Now you will answer to me! There is no honor in vengeance. You must face the ghost of your past, Pater. And that is a fate worse than death. I have failed in my duty. I failed to protect you. To protect both of you. I loved you and your sister. As if you were truly my own. But you are never mine. What do you mean? That is a question you should ask your mother. Wait. Find your mother. Find her. Wherever Mayne is, she knows far more than I do. Where will you go? To find my honor. Beware of the snakes in the grass, Alexios. I need to get out of here. I should head back to Varnavas.
Dämon. Ella. Το διατεταγμένο είναι αντιπέραν του πεδίου μάχη. Επιθυμώ του φύλακα διαταξαμένου σε κάστου 
ανά 45 πόδες. Άμα τη έω, αποστήλατε έχει νεφτάς. Έχει τη σαφορία περί του επισκητισμού. Επιτυχώντας το λεπτό μας. Δεν ξέρω για τον γιάνι που ήταν ο κύριος. Με όλα τα κύριος. Ω, πρέπει να έχω το πέλτ. Ήταν τόσο μεγάλο, θα μπορούσε να το κάνει το πέλτ. Πραγματικά φασινάτη. Ήταν τόσο μεγάλο. Δεν ξέρω να το κάνει. So, did you kill your father? Step, father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Nikolaus raised me, trained me. He was my father, even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. Thanks. I'm glad to have you around, Varnavas. I'm happy to be here. Would anything else help? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaus thought so. Some good news, praise Ida. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, we go to Fukis. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money. And an explanation. I, Alexios, and let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. I'll think about it. Good. You know, kings and queens travel to Phokis to consult the Pythia. She can start wars or end them. They say that... Yes, I know. That's enough Oracle talk for now. Hmm. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing. But Nikolaus' last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. Elpinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Pinor has a lot of explaining to do.
What's your problem? Why don't I have fucking problems with? The Oracle for one, the sea for another, and don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the Oracle? You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. 
If anything, I need the gods. If you want something done, you'll have to do it yourself. <laughs> You're right there. Can't trust the gods or their servants. So, who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. It was just a question. I'm here to help. Oh, it's not your fault. After my business with the Oracle, I came to meet my ship and crew. That was a day ago, and they're nowhere to be found. So, you sought the Oracle's advice? Her? Pfft, fuck no! I'd rather seek counsel in the wind from my ass. Then why seek her out? We got a deal. I suppose no harm in telling you. She lets me know where the pilgrims are coming from. Then I supply the transport for their journey, and we split the fee. So you're trying to tell me the Oracle has divine intuition of where the pilgrims will be coming from? <laughs> Fuck no. She asks her believers how full the ports are. Then she tells me. Simple. You have business here in Fokis? I got business everywhere. Right now, it's where's my fucking ship? So where's the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um... I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and, uh, We sort of help out. Oh. Your girl? Yeah. Best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. I'll find out what happened and bring them back. Do you know where they could have gone? The southeastern shore is pretty rich pickings. Nice cove there to trap lost, wealthy pilgrims. You're a pirate. What if I fucking am? I'm the pirate that's paying you. Anyway, I'm not a pirate all the time. It's more of a hobby. A hobby? You sure the crew didn't mutiny and run off on you? Not with my yiki at the helm. Plus, they never got the cut from our last trip. They wouldn't leave without getting paid. Describe Yiki. She's beautiful. She's... Kisses like summer. From the first time I saw her, I wanted to eat her all up. Not helpful? Okay, okay. She's raven-haired, and has a precious band on her arm that I gave her. Always wears it. I'll find them and return as soon as I can.
There'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. Ella. That's the shark's tooth, all right. Or what's left of her. It's the description of Yiki's armband. Like sharks got the whole crew.
Tell Gellon about the Kiki.
I found your ship. And? Come on now, where are they? Where's my Yiki? I really don't know how to tell you this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zeus could have impregnated the whole of Athens in the time it takes you to say anything. Where are they? I was trying to break this to you gently. I found your ship. It was wrecked. Oh. And my Yiki? This was all I could find. It was her armband. Yiki. Suppose I'm not much of a captain now. Can't be a captain without a ship. I can offer you a place on my crew. I know it's not like having your own ship, but you'll be part of a family. Hmm. Well, I'd rather be at sea than stuck here with these pious idiots. You got yourself a deal. Just till I'm back on my feet. Of course. Now, where's your boat? Ship? <laughs> it's called the Adrestia. Whatever you say, Captain. Thank you. 